welcome to the Peaky Fucking Blinders. My name is Arthur Shelby and... <coughs> Sorry about that guys. Uh, me and my girlfriend have been watching Peaky Blinders recently and for some reason I cannot stop doing that impression of Arthur Shelby. Anyway, we're here today to learn how to change canvas size in Illustrator. So let's get started the easiest way i do believe in adobe illustrator to change the canvas size is so simple guys it's literally just pressing shift and o and it takes you straight into the artboard panel where you can change the artboard size then simply click off and there you go you've changed the artboard size it's so incredibly simple um, but you know a lot of people actually don't know that shortcut or actually don't use it enough so, so yeah, that's probably the first way anyway. Right, number two, I think if we go to File, Document Setup, which you can also access by pressing Option, Command and P, or Alt, Control and P on, uh, on a PC, on Windows. So Document Setup, and then just go to Edit Artboards, and we're back into the same thing that we were before, where you can change the size of the artboard, simply click off and here we go you know we're, we're back in business again so we've changed the artboard so that's really number two so yeah let's go ahead and think of another way that we can change the artboard size if you go to window then artboards i already have it open here this will bring up a separate artboards uh, panel and you know illustrator is fantastic like that it's very similar to photoshop because it has its own panels for certain things. So yeah, so if you go to Window, Artboards, it'll bring that up for you. If you just click on this, it will give you a load of options. You can change the name, obviously the width, height, orientation. You can constrain proportions if you want. Yeah, so you can edit things here and then press OK. Or you can click here, top right hand corner, and then just go to Artboard Options. And it essentially brings up the, you know, the same things. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the main ways that I would go about changing canvas size in Illustrator. If you're a newbie, if you've just started using Adobe Illustrator, then yeah, I hope this has been a, a useful tutorial for you. And you know, expect much more detailed tutorials in the future, as well as these basics tutorials, because I think everybody can benefit, uh, benefit from them. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's, that's it from me today. Uh, this tutorial is dedicated to a good friend of mine, uh, Shehan. We're actually doing a YouTube challenge at the moment, so we're we're trying to produce as much content as we possibly can. Uh, and this is my contribution for the for the week, <laughs> I guess. So thank you, Shehan, for the motivation. And yeah, everybody, um, subscribe to the channel for more uh, content on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator freelancing, graphic design, and even Amazon FBA, if that's what you're into. So those tutorials will be coming soon as well. So thanks guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.